Dedicated, straightforward Seattle news coverage. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News continues. We just want to put pressure on so that we can reunite this father and his daughter. A national push tonight to get Sky Metal Walla's father custody of his daughter. As the search for the missing two-year-old boy continues with a new flyer set to be distributed in Redmond tomorrow, hundreds of emails and faxes are being delivered to Washington State. Cairo 7's Chris Lagueros tells us what that campaign is all about and how it's being received by the missing boy's father. A brand new flyer printed, one that'll be passed out in Redmond tomorrow by volunteers looking for Sky Metawalla, the two year old who disappeared after his mother says she left him in a car in Bellevue. An attorney for the boy's father, Clay Terry, telling us only one neighbor reported seeing the child near his Redmond home more than two weeks before he disappeared. We know there has to be other people out there. Someone that was on a bus, someone was at a McDonald's, someone who was at, at one of the stores. And while police continue to search for Sky, a national group based in Boston is putting pressure on our state and the courts to reunite the father, Solomon Metawalla, with his four year old daughter. At the urging of fathers and families, supporters sent an estimated 500 faxes and emails to the Department of Social and Health Services. False accusations of abuse have been uh, used against him. Uh, accusations that have been discredited. Fathers and Families Director Glenn Sachs said in a Skype interview that Solomon Metawalla should have never been separated from his kids in the first place, and that after Julia Biryakova lost her son, her daughter should have gone to her dad and not put into foster care. Get this little girl, this little four year old girl, out of the foster care system and back with the father who she loves and needs. Clay Terry says he appreciates this organization's concern, but. At this time, we have not asked them to help us. We have not solicited their help. They have done this voluntarily. And at this time, our goals happen to be the same. But we are working with CPS. That's where we're going to stay. Clay Terry telling us Child Protective Services and DSHS have been cooperative. His client feels happy with the process and will be in family court Monday seeking full custody of his four-year-old girl.